wonder where my mind is gone. It's a shame, really, because the mind is a terrible thing to waste, especially a beautiful mind. But mine is far from that, full of dark corners and inner demons that won't remain silent. All right, good job. Very nice. Can we try that with a minor adjustment? Uh, yeah, the director had wanted to know if, um, do you, can you do accents? Do you have an accent? An accent? You know, more chinky, just chink it up. Well, well I mean, I think what we're trying to say is we're looking to add more realism. Exactly. To the character, yeah. yeah. You know, that authenticity. Mm. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. My name's Miles Knight. I'm an actor based out in Los Angeles. Are you originally from LA? No, not originally. I moved out here from the Midwest. Small town kid living in the big city. Sounds like a quiet culture shock. <laughs> yes, most definitely. What made you decide to be an actor? Always had a love for cinema. It was the one place I found refuge when I needed inspiration. For me, it's like being reborn. Theater goes dark, so a screen lights up, and then magic. Taken away to another world. What made you decide to pursue acting? Definitely was a combination of things. I'm not exactly sure if I can pinpoint the exact moment. I do remember. When my dad bought a camcorder, it sparked everything. Uh-huh, that's right. Later. I'll just sit here. All right, let's see. How are you doing, sir? Are we going to fly back? Yes. Yeah. My brother and I were obsessed with martial art films and braid dancing. <laughs> so we gather our friends together to shoot random funny skits, dance sessions, and fight scenes. From then on, we decided to start shooting movies. I can go and grab a fight. Choreograph one with me too. Yeah. There he is. Let's get him. thought it was a hobby. Like most Asian parents, they're very traditional. Also being immigrants, they worked very hard to give us a better life. My parents dreamed me becoming a doctor or a lawyer, but they never imagined I'd become an actor. Been doing okay? It's just been slow work-wise. Hope it picks up soon. How are you? All right, it should be fine. Dad doing well? That's good. Remember that film I auditioned for last week? I got the part. No, it doesn't pay much. I don't think they ever really accepted the profession I chose. Just something they cope with. Of course they're supportive and want to see me succeed, but I know deep down they're hoping I change my mind to something more stable and respectable. I mean, this business is totally foreign to them, so I understand. What challenges do you face out here in LA? Oh, pretty much the same challenges everyone else faces in LA. Cost of living. With all the gentrification going on, rent just keeps going up. 
For artists, it's tough finding jobs that allow time for you to invest in your career. Uh, acting in particular, we need that flexibility for classes, creating content, auditions, or when we actually book the job. Do you ever bring us some help? To be honest, it's hard at times. Sorry. I know I haven't been present as a late. Where do you see us right now? I don't know. I know it's unfair to you to have to keep waiting for me to get my shit together. I want to keep making empty promises to you. Okay. I know. I know we both love the idea of being in a relationship. But I don't think this is the right fit for each other. What should we do now? I think you know the answer to that. Be happy to. I will always love you. I'm always going to love you. There are definitely sacrifices. A lot you never really wish to make when it comes to people you care about. Do you feel like things are changing in Harlem with the Asian American representation? Mm. Slowly. In terms of progress, we still have a long way to go, though. It's not necessarily about taking over everything in Hollywood. It's about inclusion. Showing the world as it is, full of very unique people from all walks of life making it an equal playing field for everybody, in front of or behind the camera. We shouldn't feel like we have to settle. Feel satisfied with results, but don't stay content because that's when complacency sets in. We have to keep the momentum going if we want to see major changes in diversity within film and television. I'm sure there are moments where you feel like throwing in the towel. What keeps you motivated? Some men have to say, I'm listening. So many things I wanted to tell you. I never got a chance. Can't thank you enough for giving me the confidence that I lacked, for believing in me, for being my friend. You don't have to thank me for that. That's what friends do. And as far as that confidence you speak of, well, you didn't need me for that. I was already there. You know, 
Sometimes I think to myself, should have been me, not you. That you're the one that deserves to be living. And if I could trade places, I would, brother. Cause I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want you thinking like that anymore. Stop living in the past. You need to move on. You gotta move forward. Don't be afraid of living. I've never been afraid to die, but this living thing, I just, I can never figure it out. Don't throw your gift away. You don't want to wake up one day with regrets. And just remember, whenever you feel like you can't do this anymore, I'm right here, brother. I'm right here. I will always be right here. Dreams come to us in many forms, whether we're pursuing or chasing them. They shape us, show us, and represent who we want to be. Sometimes they might be the only thing that keeps us going. The best advice I could give at the moment to any young aspiring artist and those staying the course is there are no definite answers right or wrong because our circumstances factor into the variables apply what is useful discard what essentially doesn't work for you ultimately be yourself and as you continue down the road to self-discovery the key thing to remember is to be adaptable don't be afraid to face challenges or take the hits. Failure and getting knocked down at times is inevitable. It's what you do, how you react to it and get back up. We're always taught to win, never to lose. But it's through our losses we learn the most about ourselves. It's learning to embrace the good with the bad. It's part of the journey. Live life, explore all options and keep moving with the flow. Yes, uh, we'd like to see this again, but this time with an accent. You know more chinky, just chink it up. <laughs> I think what we're trying to say is uh, we're looking to add more realism to yes. the character. Yes, exactly. You know that authenticity. I'm gonna have to decline. Just gonna have to find someone else to play the part. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, we're very sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. It's your loss. It's a great role. And with that attitude, good luck trying to find work. Maybe so. But I'll break through in my own way. What's up, peoples? Well, here we are. Beginning of a dream in this land of opportunity. 